Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and learn how to install Android 6.0.1 ROM on the Galaxy S2 GTI 9100. Let's go do this, baby. Alright guys, so here is my GTI 9100, uh, which is running the latest Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Uh, this is actually CM13, as you can see here. Uh, this is one of the nightly versions. Pretty solid. Um, the only thing I couldn't get working was the front camera. It force closes on me, but the back camera works fine. I mean, if you if you try to take a photo, it will force close. Um, so that's the only thing I found uh, wrong with it. But um, taking photos should be fine. Uh, and also, let's actually go ahead and take a look at the resolution here. And for video, you can do up to 1080p, which is fine. And let's do a quick video here. And yeah, video oh, is working just fine. There we go. Other than the camera, you will be able to experience the latest Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow right there on your Galaxy S2. Now, for installation, it is a little bit more complicated than before, just because this is an older phone. And with Marshmallow, you need a little bit more system partition. So you will have to repartition your phone. And that's what I'll show you how to do here. All right, uh, before you do this, go ahead and download all the necessary files. Um, you will need ISO rec twerp, all right? And also you will need launch and repeat blah blah dot zip. And also download the CM13 ROM, all right? And also you need bank G apps, all right? Banks Dynamic or Banks G apps. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. And this will be the same thing for all the Marshmallow ROMs out there for the Galaxy S2 GTI 9100. Um, so you will have to do this at one point to install Marshmallow ROMs. All right, once you have your files in there, um, hopefully you have some kind of recovery on your phone. All right, if you don't, go ahead and flash uh, one of the uh, CDM, CWM recoveries off my site. I'll have links to all of that. Uh, once you have a recovery, we're gonna go ahead and boot into it. Volume up, center home, power. All right, let go of the power button. Keep holding down uh, volume up, center home until you get it into your custom recovery. All right, that should be enough, just let go of the buttons. And right now I have the Twerp recovery installed, but you may see CWM recovery, don't worry. Just go to uh, install, all right? And go ahead and choose ISO Rec Twerp, all right? And go ahead and install it if you're using uh, CWM recovery. And this will give you Twerp, and then we'll continue on. And go back home, go to advanced, Oops, sorry. Go back home and go to Reboot. Go to Reboot Recovery. Or you can just power off your phone and um, do the buttons again. Now you should be in Torp Recovery. Now this ISO Rec Torp is great because before uh, Torp Recovery, Custom Recovery was separate uh, from the actual, um, it wasn't separate from the kernel was together. But this allows you to run recovery separate from the kernel, which is the beauty of it. All right, once you have done that, uh, we are going to go ahead to go into install. Uh, we're going to run this called uh, launch on repeat. All right. This is the launch on repeat. This will repartition um, your phone. All right. And you'll get an error like this here. Uh, unable to mount all partitions. So don't worry about that. Go ahead and hit the home button. Go to install. And you now you're going to go up the level. Um, go, to, go here. Go to your TMP temp. All right. And you'll see this launch and pit move uh, file moved here. Go ahead and click that. Now install it. Now it will actually repartition your phone. By the way, this will this may erase a lot of things on your phone. So make a backup of everything before you do this. Uh, I'm sorry if I didn't tell you that right before doing this. I usually do. I just forgot. This will take anywhere to from five to ten minutes or fifteen minutes. Um, so when it is done finished, we will continue this. All right, once that's done, uh, it has repartition. You will have to reboot again. So go back home, go to reboot, go to reboot recovery. All right, this will have repartition your system um, to one gigabytes instead of the standard 500 megabytes. So you can solve Marshmallow ROM along with G apps. Um, so when this reboots, now we can do a um, regular install and you only have to repartition once. All right, this will just make your system partition bigger. 
Um, once this is done, everything else is the same. Uh, if I go to install, you should see all your files now. I'm gonna go ahead and do a wipe. All right, we're just gonna do a standard uh, installation. Also, you can format system, but I, you know, it, you don't. Have, you probably won't have to. Just go to install. After doing a wipe, go to download. Go ahead and install CM13 ROM file. This will install the ROM, obviously. And then we're gonna go ahead and install Marshmallow G apps. And then we'll do another factory reset. Uh, that's how you install Marshmallow ROMs. And then reboot. And once you're done, um, you, your phone should reboot. Uh, and uh, you should have Marshmallow running on your GT i9100. Now this is pretty much the same method for all the older Samsung phones. Uh, I think the i777, um, the, the Galaxy Note GTN 7000. Uh, the files are different, so you just have to find the correct ISO uh, rec files and then the torque recovery for that. Um, also the partitioning files. I'll have the links to all the um, different files for needed for your model, so check that out. But this is basically the same method, just different files. Um, so without doing this, you will be able to install CM13, but G apps will not install it. You won't be able to get uh, Play Store, not enough storage. So when this is done, um, we are going to go ahead and install G apps, reboot, and uh, we should be done. All right, when that's done, we're gonna go back, hit home, install. We're gonna go ahead and install Banks Dynamic G apps. Or banks G apps, any of them will work. Um, this will install your Google Apps Play Store. All right, when that's done, go ahead and go home, wipe, do another factory reset. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and reboot, and we should be done installing Marshmallow. All right, and also the Twerp recovery will stay on there, so you can go ahead and install another ROM. Um, so I'm gonna let it uh, let it reboot. This should take another five minutes. Hi guys. So if you see the welcome screen, you should be good to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip anyways. All right, just make sure everything's working, and you should have Play Store. All right, just give it a second here and with everything working. Um, so that's how you can install uh, Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow, CM CM13 or other Marshmallow ROMs. You'll have to repartition using this method. Uh, once you partition, you're good to go. Now you can go ahead and install all the different Marshmallow ROMs. Revamp your Galaxy S2 to run the latest Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. And you all have more stuff coming. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe. All right, perfect.